Okay. So we are playing Wolf Among Us. Can you this man even hear me? Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Things look like it's working. Okay, cool. So Wolf Among Us. Let's see what happens. I tried to play these things only one time around. So whatever happens, happens. That's our story. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The storyline is tailored to how you play. So like I said, I'm only going to play this bitch one time. That's our story. Once upon a time in New York City, they lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Though through the use of magic spells called a glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. today again if you missed it a record for the date hottest ever in june uh, 103 now and that humidity looks low but remember the hotter the air is the more moisture it can hold so 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity and it is muggy out there how did they get exiled from the fairy tale and they live in the hood Mr. Toad? Oh, shit! Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Mmm, no look, harm done. No harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I called you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Ooh. New book of fables into a lot. Pricked up shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. <laughs> you know why the damn lights are shaking. I hate when people. I don't give a fuck if they're a child. I hate when people act fucking You're stupid. You're gonna know who I fucking am. You hear me? Hey, What's this? look at me! This is not okay. This is wrong. Let's go. Why did I pick up the matchbook? Take a look. 
Take a good look. Easy can pick up the police no, now. Hey, look at me. Get off of me. We don't do it the diplomatic way. God damn you! No way. Whoa, whoa, now. whoa, hey, oh, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! Alright, what's going on? Ooh. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Beat your ass now. Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. I'm gonna beat your ass now. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Ooh, cutie. Ah! Oh, okay, I fucked up. I fucked up. his axe you should probably get out of here look I'm not leaving until I get what's mine you're not getting shit Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? Don't listen. Ah, oh, fucking shit. You bugged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Seriously, I need to know if you're okay. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. Thought about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. <laughs> Love that. Not you fucking up my car. Is that my car? Or did I take a taxi? Ah, shit. 
Now you looking dead. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. jump out. She should have let the wolf jump out. Thank you. He needed to die. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. Guy's <laughs> having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. Lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, yeah. you like my ribbon? Beautiful. Thank you. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Where'd he go? Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. She is petty. That wasn't intentional. Yeah. Sorry. You, yeah, right. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing bad for you to show up empty-handed 
I'll be fine. I'll give Let's you the see, money. I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Who is this girl? Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. That's a little on the harsh side. I tell it like it is. When <laughs> I can. Ooh, are you Little Red Riding Hood? Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Now what? Just gonna smoke a cigarette. We just we gonna beat the huntsman's ass and smoke a cigarette. Just press triangle to get that. Why is it not green?
Oh, is it like attached to whichever part of the pad I'm on? So if I'm press circle for because the door is right here. Don't make me come over there. Look. I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just... <gasps> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty? Beauty? Hello, Bigby. Stay off the grass. I wasn't expecting anyone. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Wow. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. No. I'm not lying for someone when I don't know the reason. Sorry. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. Why should it? Why she doing like that though? Can we talk to him? Yeah, so it's based on like the triangle. Nope. Hey, you wink? Rumble? Hmm. Probably for the best. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Dusty. That ain't wake him up. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. that King Cole. I wish it would have let me look a little longer. Like Mr. and Mrs. Beast. Bee beard, blue light, blue beard. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Yeah, I did. What? When? Just now. You saw her just now. Just a few seconds ago. She walked past me. You can probably still catch her. Thanks. We probably fucked up. He doesn't seem, I don't know, terrible. Like, but 
Bell seemed a little more. I'm calling her Bell because that's what I know. Bell seemed a little more shady than the Beast. Why did he Damn. take the phone off? Should cracked the window. They have the audacity to put luxury apartments on that bitch, too. <sighs> what a night. I mean, you look like you recovered fairly quickly. Why do I even own this? Oh, and a smaller one. Damn it. When when is payday? When is payday? Because we ain't got no food. Bluebeard's file. So what is that? Never trusted this guy. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Didn't you say it was hot? At least this still works. Sleep. Look at this big ass pig. <sighs> Got the one. So yeah. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. <laughs> this has gotta stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. Come on, that's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. <laughs> it is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. That's some asshole. Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. True. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. 
Well, we had to beat somebody. Who'd you ass. get in a fight with? A we fan, had to beat right? his ass. I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. Yes. We Sometimes did. I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> What are we supposed to do? Just let, let you the, think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from ass. killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's what the you attitude that gets apartment? you in trouble. What I'm sure you, you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. So what are they roommates? Or okay, he said he snuck from the farm, but like he just be breaking into people houses. They just sleep good. No. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working oh. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. 
Just give me a second. It's just terrible. Who found her? So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I mean, that's on y'all doorstep. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. It's obviously something I don't know. Is that the ribbon? What is? It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. I guess Snow White is a thug. God, what did this to her? What could do something like that? So it's not an axe? Something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Cause it don't look clean. Would an axe do that? She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Did we kill old girl? I'm just... <laughs> I'm wondering, did we kill her? Or they just decide to refer to fridge somebody just to get the story going? I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... What do you want to do next? So you still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Um, let me not walk into you. Is there anything over here? Say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. Up the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Uh, it looks like we can't go. Am I am I finding all the clues? We got a ring. Mm. 
nobody there. Why would you even give me the option to do that? I can't look at this. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. <clears throat> Somebody, yeah. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well... Yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. Yeah. I guess it's useless to drag it out. <clears throat> That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. This. It. He was like, this and it. Now, who are these people? What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? You about to have Must a problem. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. You I don't have time for this. Yeah, you and all the rest of them in there. They forget. I'm the Fucker. ass whooper. I'm the bit bad wolf. I will whoop your ass. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. I'm this is a disaster. Up. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Big B. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life, and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. I'll find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we so need is Snow all of like Fabletown knowing there's a two. killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. What is she, the assistant? Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. That's probably better. You would have I just pissed him anything. off more. <laughs> that's, probably, right. that's probably better. I didn't well, say that anything. Been I was ready to say, well, fuck you. 
maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Not you drinking the wine. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. The I mirror. really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vicky. Let's talk to the mirror. Oop. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No oh shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Okay, we figured that out. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. How are we supposed to find a, a, a fairy tale girl and we don't know her fairy tale? Strength. I 
guess it comes in all forms. Tower. Who killed that girl? Damn. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Uh, why don't we put that one in our pocket? We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. No, Luce, no way. Why, are they, why are they so angry? I don't like the way they look. clothes it's the same as the rings could be her father or husband this has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from if it's in here we'll have her name i want to see what it say about everybody else beauty and happier days and her man beast funny Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And there's me. Had a good day. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> nice hat. Who's in this little donkey outfit? that the better yeah that's me back when a uh, long time ago okay let's see if we can find this ring now ah, great what I can't read any of this shit I can help Look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Uh, that's not what we want, though. That's our ring, ain't it? This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? I'll go look it up. Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. 
There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Oh my god. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yeah. Yes. Please. At least they, knew, they acknowledged that the fairy tales was fucked up. That's her. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise out. me at this point. We can't rule him out. But why would he do that? What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. <laughs> I guess it makes animals shit gold. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. Okay, we just learn it a lot. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. We're looking for... Prince Lawrence, right? willing to marry her and I would say the, the daddy is the suspect too why can I still look at these things that's turn the page on this Blah blah Abel, blah 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, but. It's simply the way this has to be. So somebody is hiding Faith's body? Show me Faith's father, the old king. 
so I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Yeah, you did. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Definitely Where's what? Him. Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Well, we know where Nobody everybody is. Right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. What was that about? No, Hard to, to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Um... Who's going through the Huntsman's things? Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's go check on Toad. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Yeah, he okay. looked like he just... I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Over glasses of her shoes. The frog of the prince. Oh shit, that was a light And we ended thing. up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse than a day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Where he go? I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Should probably get that fixed. And you fucked all this shit up. That's what y'all did. Now this wall should should not have gave way like that. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? she wants us to do something. Is that his son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? 
for you, girl. We're gonna do our best. Hey, Toad, you in? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Explain yourself. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? You all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave. Okay. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. I have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Why is the... Why is the lamp broke? Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp On just fell off the table. <laughs> All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Why did you show me that? Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. It does. For Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. What you had in? It's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that... It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. It's been the hottest summer in years, Toad, so why would you be making a fire? Stay in this place for more than a spell, and a drought will make you think you're in a salting tundra. I love it on, so what's the fuss? fucking liar. Thought toads can dry out. No, mate, you're thinking of lizards. 
He let Toll talk his way out. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Because he's lying. We're going to catch him with I mean, lie. things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just going to make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Why is he lying? Those claw marks. Is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no. There's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Someone kicked the door in. Shaking Stevens album, yeah. Hit him with the the iron, and then he jumped. Okay, the sheriff. Now what? You wouldn't need wouldn't keys. Need keys, since the lock's broken. So, why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big catch him in a lot. Needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. Toad, I know you're lying about the door. Fucking hell, Big B, I forgot my keys. Can't a grown frog just forget his latch for a bit? This wood might have rotted, but it just made the kicking it in part easier. I know you, Toad. You'd sleep in your smashed up car's glove box before you think to climb in the fucking window. Want me out of here? I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming. That's all. So now I'm about what to, is it? I'm about to rough them up. I know something's off here, Toad, and I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... there's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. I know I scared him, so like... What is it, mate? Now... Come clean. Just tell me what's going on. I'm 
try to be nice to your ass. Now, if I hit your ass, you'll be fucking mad. But I, Snow White said not to hit your ass, so I'm not gonna hit your ass. You lucky. I the respect most people her. think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? No hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset though earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. What am I missing? Are you trying to egg me into being an ass? Too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? The lamp? Okay, because the lamp wasn't plugged in over there. Bloody hell, Big B. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. Because it's put It's in. my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please... please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start- Dad! Why would you come out? Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh. This yes. is the job, Snow. You may not like it, but this is the job. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Pigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? No, he didn't happen to mention his nightly plans while he was busy braining me. Sorry. You could have just told us told that. You. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bowels to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. 
All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine it's, bit it's of precedence. Be the skin. Why'd y'all hide it in the fucking fireplace? No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? We're gonna open it. He's a suspect. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. What? I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. He'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. What was? What else was we supposed to do? Because he wasn't being cooperative whatsoever. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Girl, if we go have to beat somebody's ass, we gonna beat somebody's ass. That's what we gonna do. Oh, it's already open. Oh shit, he Don't did. just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. He's definitely dead. He's been dead a while, too. Stay with me, Lawrence. Gonna no. be all right. No. Let me go. She. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Where's the... Minute. I blame Toby. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. What happened? <laughs> oh. 
faith. Faith. Okay, I don't think he killed Faith. Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. How long has he been there though? But when we looked in the mirror, he was sitting in the sofa. I can't look at this. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Doesn't really help. Girl, you just looking at all this shit. Snow White has been through it because. Okay, I thought we was going to look at Lawrence. It's sharp, and there's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. Lord, he yeah, in the mirror. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Bullet passed through the chair. works if he shot himself. Why did he try to kill himself? He did pass through the chair. Still a little sticky. Again, love your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. Mm. About all we can hope for at this point.
When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Like, fairy tale land went downhill. I want to take that bullet with me. Yes, there's nothing over here. Why is it still there? See, I feel like they're disappearing as I look. the rent next week pizza in the fridge please don't look for me goodbye secondhand paper bags old encyclopedias dusty no one's read these in a while Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh, damn. I didn't see that shit coming. Inside here. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? You ran out the damn oh, door. Dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Oh, shit. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. 
Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. What uh, happened? Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Yeah. <laughs> Those are ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. This one's Every time enough. I think I'm getting we... a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got. I think and the woodsman was killed one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. But why would the Bigby? woodsman have her, her father's Be honest ring? with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. The woodsman. He had the motive. He had the means. You sound so sure that he's guilty. I don't know if he is. That's why I need to talk to him. I don't have the whole story. Maybe he has some information that can help us out. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. If the Tweedle D and Tweedle Dum didn't beat his ass first. Thanks. I for wish you. there was Oh. That that Sorry. seemed really awkward. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's It's nothing. I just... They, they are awkward as shit. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within? Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> Now, do yeah, I maybe think you the system this one. could do better? Who is this? This yeah, pimp? Maybe I should. <laughs> Why is he? Why, well, I want to know what fairy, what fairy tale he is to be a fucking pimp. Big B. I um, just be careful, please. We will do our best. The same goes for you. I will.
Now we about to get into a whole bar fight. What do you want, Sheriff? Official Fable Town business. Oh, well, if it's official Fable Town business. <laughs> Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here, that's all. Who? I'm being nuts, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. She's obviously no, lying. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while if he's been here at all, which I don't know. Who is she? Does he tell you when to close too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Whose is that? Someone who left. Someone like... The guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you, I haven't seen him for a couple days. She not making eye contact. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. That's what we found earlier, right? <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's <laughs> getting out. I guess we got no choice. Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? How about I buy you a drink? How about you keep your drink and piss off? Hmm. What happens if I do that shit? A lot of stools in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you. And now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? <laughs> you know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... Who's in there? Holly, you're out of paper towels in the...
Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. You can always come quietly. Not sure you knew that was an option before. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Last fellow put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. Last fella I put my hand on, ended up in the ground. We could do that okay, shit too. Why they, why they fucking trying us like we don't, like we not the big bear wolf? Y'all had hundreds of years of fairy tales. It's funny, whoop your just ass. a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you, the big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. Why'd you do it? No bullshit. Same reason people do a lot of awful things. For money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it, but she had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. What are you talking about exactly? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. Long when time I ago up, days. We're already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward, but she didn't give me shit, except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Did you kill Faith? What, Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I it swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. He was you know that. You have a bad alibi because we ran into you earlier. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. What fairy tale is he? Oh, good. What is what is that? Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. <gasps> ah no! <laughs> Damn. That was not 
They beat my ass. I was not ready. Use a good guy, do something now. Oh shit. Shit, remember that shit. <laughs> Whiskey. Double. And now, look, now everybody's scared. Y'all want the wolf? Now y'all, y'all get the wolf. Now everybody motherfucking scared. Submit a damage report with my office. Fable Town will pay for this. Charge the drink on there too, and the glass. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? If you run, it'll be worse. Trust me. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck. I want to go. The Woodsman. Ah, you said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. Guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah. Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. I don't think he did it, but we're making an example out of everybody. I don't mean to be on the table. Damn, we gotta walk all the way there? They can't send a police car? Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Alright. 
That was happening. Better be the story thing, or did I fuck up? <laughs> we had something very special. They got my dumb ass. I thought it was beauty, but we need to find her because she next. She the only girl. She the only Who else girl is involved? Had. The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Wait, the big fat guy's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I, I thought that was going to have a party. You shouldn't be here. It's not safe. You told him? Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punch someone. We can arrange that. Huh? What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? Damn, what do we do? I hope that wasn't a story decision. It better not have been a decision I made that got her killed. Did you give Faith your money? 84% of people gave Faith the money. Did you tell Beast the truth about beauty? 14% of players told him the truth. Where did you first decide? Where did you decide to go first? You and 69% of players went to help Toad before Prince Lawrence. What happened to Prince Lawrence? I could have prevented his death. Who was your prime suspect? I didn't even get to these two people. We chose the woodsman. Who did you arrest when it came down to the wire? I chose the woodsman. 30 people did that. Okay, long as Snow White wasn't a story decision, I'm cool. Damn, this one took a long time, so I, I'm excited for part two. We gonna get into it.